After taking in almost $6 million at the box office for the first A Haunted House, the wheels were in motion to cash in again. The first Haunted House movie, big hit. Yeah. How soon after that gets out and makes its money, do you sit down and go, all right, we're, we're doing this again? Movie comes out Friday, Saturday, we like, <laughs> it made money? What? We're doing it. Stop. What's it about? I have no idea, but write it. Okay. And before you knew it, you know, we actually, we, we, we took some time. We did chew on it and was like, you know, the studio was like, you guys got to do it. And all, all the partners was like, you got to do it. And I wanted to just make sure that we had a good take. So, um, you know, I took some time, me and Rick, uh, my producing partner, Rick Alvarez, and we had to watch a couple of movies. And then we said, okay, we found the story. Let's go. And remember the doll from The Conjuring? It's back in a haunted house, too. That Abigail dolls, Annabelle dolls Look, by my house, I'm out. I saw that movie and it was the doll that creeped me out too. That's what I said and that's why I put it in the movie because I was just like, oh my God, she's creepy. I gotta do something funny with her. That's just where my mind is. Do you, do you sit down and watch these movies and go, oh my God, I can, I, we, we can really do this one big. Yeah, I watch every movie. I don't watch, I don't think I'm affected by movies anymore because I'm sitting there going, oh my God, you know what? Um, you know what we can do with this? We only do that, like every movie, literally. And you sit down, you, you wrote this movie, you produced this movie. What sort of pressure is that like for you as an actor? I mean, you guys have been doing this for a while. Your family's been involved in the business for a long time. But you're writing and producing. It has to be a lot of extra added pressure that you have to go and actually... None. You, no, really? No, it's actually extra added safeguard because I get to be free. I get be free in my choices, be free in my decision making, be free to create. And know that in editing, the producer will work with the director and we'll make sure we get the best out of everybody's performance. So I always tell people to improvise. I improvise like crazy. And it, I, I, I suggest that all the talent does because I, I want all the characters to, I want them to breathe them into the characters. And if there's a joke there, top it, let's go. Top the joke. I'm not one of those writers that goes, uh, the word, the word says the, and you're saying the. I need you to say the, thanks, action. I'm not that guy. I'm like, let's, let's, let's go have some fun. Actors that include Cedric the Entertainer, Essence Atkins, Gabriel Iglesias, and actress Jamie Priestley, who plays his girlfriend. And she's beautiful and, you know, she was fun to hang around with and great to work with. And Gabriel Iglesias was a great addition. And Cedric is back and Afion Crockett and Essence Atkins. And so, it, we, you know, we had a lot of comedic veterans in here. Everybody has like 20 years of experience. And we just all kind of just did what we do. It didn't take those actors much convincing to sign on to work with Wayne. So you make that call, you say, hey, I'm going to be doing this movie. Do they jump at the chance to, to work with you? Yeah, they jump at it. They go, I'm in. <laughs> but what kind of deal are we talking about? And fans of his other brothers, look out. They could be coming to a town near you soon. And, and what's next for you? I got a couple of movies I'm developing, and uh, I'm trying to put together with my brothers the first ever Wayne's Brothers tour. So hopefully we'll do that next year. Me, Sean, Damon, and Keenan.